inside here at Joe's Diner, and I'm here with Joseph Mangi. Joe, you went all out, man. <laughs> you, you really, I mean, I always like calling it the smorgasbord shot, all the food laid out, and you have literally all the food yeah. laid out. Uh, and it all looks incredible. I can't wait to dive in. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna start here. What, what do we got? What's, what so are these we, what are, are homemade here? crab ragoons. Homemade so like, crab ragoons. Crab ragoons. So like I was telling you earlier, my mom's from Thailand, and then she joined the Air Force. Really? And that's how she got her visa, you know, and then she worked underneath my dad, but that's her recipe, all homemade. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not really thick. You know, you go to a lot of places, it's straight. You don't get much, and you don't get a lot of crab inside of it, so I, right. I like a nice thin. I go through a lot of them. I bet I go through like six, seven hundred a week. How long have you been here in Dyersville? Um, so I moved to Dyersville. I started working, um, doing construction, and then about three months later, I decided, like, well, I guess I'm going to get back into what, <laughs> I, what I think I'm good at. And, yeah. Um, so I was 24 when I bought the place. And Hold on, you're 24 years old, and you decided, I mean, I'm going to go out, uh, let's go for broke, let's open up a restaurant. Yeah. I mean, and you said that you've been working in food service for a long time, but yes. the idea of owning your business at 24, that's uh, that's kind of crazy. Yeah, I should have moved to Nashville or Colorado, <laughs> one of the two. Wow, I mean, I, these are great crab ingredients. I like, I like the size. I, I like the little... I mean, it's a little, wonderful, perfectly sized pocket of, of uh, the cream cheese, the, the taste of crab, and the fried. Sometimes you get those crab rangoons, and they're just, you got those fried ends, and, you, and they're just kind of yeah, out there, and they're just, so what am I going to, what am I going to It's like almost eating a fortune cookie, in a way. <laughs> exactly. exactly. <laughs> but that's, that's really good. And, and then, know, so I, now you got room I, for I, your I, pasta or your steak. I would, like, I would literally eat four more of these, but with all this food in front of me, I know I can't. So let's, let's go ahead and let's jump into all here. All right, so this what? is my tonight's special, my Thursday night special. Your Thursday is, night special. This is a deep-fried taco. A deep-fried taco. So I make taco. the taco meat from scratch. Okay. And then I put meat and cheese in it. And um, the ends might be a little more crispier, so it depends yeah. if you like meat or if you like tortilla. But oh um, throughout... It is fried, the cheese melts perfectly, stays nice and hot, and then I just douse it with everything, and then you have your salsa, sour cream. It's hard to go wrong with fried food. Exactly. Um, and, and, that's, and that's what I love, fried I love I love a chimichanga, I love that, I mean, I'll take a burrito and just deep fry it, that's great. I've never had a fried taco, but that's really good. We are two dishes in, and we've already gotten from you know, uh, a, you know, Asian American to Mexican American. Uh, I, that's the thing I enjoy about diners. I mean, there is that little bit of everything that you can try. And I'm gonna move right along here. All what, right. What, what's, so what's, this what is a shrimp, Alf, shrimp Alfredo. Um, the Alfredo is made from scratch, and then the shrimp. Then I have my own Joe seasoning that I put on my burgers, my steaks, my shrimp that I make. And then you got your Parmesan cheese, and uh, it's not too much, you know, not too no, rich. Not no, too... Uh, you know, I, I don't like having heaping piles of pasta. I mean, I, I like having that, a good blend of, you got a lot of shrimp in here, you got a lot of great Parmesan cheese as well. And the sauce is, it's consistent, it's not too heavy, it's not too light, it's about just right. Same with the noodles as well. Tell me a little bit about, what's it like uh, being a part of Dyersville? It's a good community. Um, they're very supportive, and um, I have a lot of uh, the locals that really, really support me, mm -hmm. and they want to support me, you know, anywhere from, hey, you didn't charge me for that last drink, <laughs> or like, hey, we're going to come down because you got open mic night, and we really want to support local businesses. It's a really stellar pasta dish with the Joe seasoning. I can't wait to dive into it. Let's go ahead and get, jump over here All to right. the steak, just because I want to... See how the Joe seasoning is doing over there. Okay. Um, so all my steaks come from a local. They come from two different stores, depending on mm -hmm. how much time I have to run to Epworth. <laughs> but yeah. it's um, Silker's uh, grocery store. I don't know if you've yeah. ever been there. Um, but yeah. they, they do a lot of stuff for like the fairgrounds in Dubuque and uh, some mm -hmm. bars in Dubuque and make a lot of burgers for them. And But their meat is immaculate. And so I hand cut all my steaks. This is really big. And like you said. And I char broil it. Um, so you get your X marks in it, so you get it cooked, you know, at all your temperatures, mm -hmm. and it's just perfect. Um, that sat for a while, so I know you wanted it rare. And, no. And then I put butter and my Joe seasoning on it, and it just kind of melts. And 
That is a fabulous, fabulous cut of meat. All right. Okay. Oh, we got a lot of food yet to get through. I, I mean, don't get me wrong. I like vegetables. Those they're, are just uh, steamed vegetables. You can great. get those at I'm anywhere. Sure, I'm sure, I'm just, sure they're um, fabulous. Uh, I had my grill full for, like, I wanted to do my hash browns, but I had it full of tenderloins and stuff, and so I just I was like, oh, vegetables, they're already steamed. Sure, they're already there, because I, I cannot turn this down. This is... This, this is, is the Joe in, Burger. This is the Joe Burger. This yep. is listen. When it has your name on it, you know it's you. You put a lot of pride into it, didn't you? What What do we have on here? Okay, oh. on there we have everything. We have oh. um, applewood smoked bacon, sautéed oh. onions, sautéed mushrooms, lettuce, mm. tomato, pickles, um, ketchup, mustard, onion, and then Swiss cheese, American cheese, and then Texas sauce. Texas sauce. And toast. it is a hand patted eighty five fifteen ground beef. This is a two-hander. Yeah. This is... This That's is, something you should have dug in first. Yeah, probably. no, no. This, I'm going to see how... I cannot... Um, I usually in, stick a knife in the knife top in of there. it, in the top of it, and then most people cut it, oh, you know, to diagonal. No. But I am not I'm not a refined man. I will just cram all of this in my mouth. I got more napkins. <laughs> Good. Let's see what we can do here. But I just feel like it all kind of mixes in, sauteed. You don't have the raw onion to where it doesn't bite you too much. Mm -hmm. um, Sometimes I like to roll onion on a burger, but I think with everything that's there, when it melts, sautéed is the way to go. The cheese, the bacon, and the to I, I love Texas toast. I love Texas toast with a burger because uh, it's just a real a. You can toast it really well, and it'll hold its shape, and it's not going to become a big, sight, soggy mess by the right. time you get halfway through it. And uh, yeah, this is this is a tasty. Thick, thick burger. The amount of flavors that we have in here between, like, a, between the toast, between the lettuce, between the the pickle and, and the tomato, everything, the cheese, and still that bacon is still just popping right through. Okay. That's some that's some excellent smoked bacon. Now we're in Iowa, so you have to have this is so a this tenderloin. Is, I, so Silkers or Fairway will do it. And they'll tenderize it twice. And they come out about like that, and then I bread it in egg wash and then mm -hmm. cracker crumb. I probably shouldn't have just gave away my recipe. <laughs> um, but, yes. A cracker crumb. That yeah, looks... so it's a cracker crumb. So it has a little bit of salt to it, mm -hmm. and then you have everything on it. I don't think there's ketchup and mustard on it, but... Mm -mm. I mean, that's two meals in one. You have to get about four or five bites in before you get to the bun. <laughs> and that's... That's a sign of a good tenderloin right there. Like I said, variety. I love variety. Variety for me is the spice of life. No knock on Joe's spice, but I think that this is its great. You can come in here and you can get a burger, which is amazing. You can get a tenderloin, which is amazing. You can get a fried taco, which I, I don't think I've ever seen anywhere else. And some really, really great crab rangoons. Absolutely all of it fantastic, and I know for sure I'm going to be coming back. All right. Well, I appreciate it. Thanks a lot, Joe. Yeah, thank you.